This is Mecha Jammer. It is a CRPG. Um, it's very much like Deus Ex, but it's also simultaneously turn-based, so that's what makes it stand out as something new and different. And also the graphics were originally what attracted me to it, uh, which, like I said, the devs have been posting on Twitter uh, a lot of their update images, and I just thought, wow, that looks kind of intriguing. Uh, so we're waking up here just on a rooftop with a lot of corrugated metal. We don't really know much about the story because we're thrust in media res, uh, which kind of threw me off the first time that I saw the game, but it's just got a really interesting system, so we're gonna try to explore all the systems today. Uh, am, am I awake in there? It seems we're some sort of like, uh, uh dr drug, in, uh, drug infested person. Sorry about the rough disconnect, we're out of time. There's not really any exposition here. Again, this is the demo of the game, so we don't really, we don't really know how m any of the systems are fleshed out fully. I suppose I'm ready to go. Uh, I don't think these dialogue options make much of a difference right now. We're headed to the West Bay. Let's get it. So we gotta get out of here. God only knows why, or what, uh, what, what caused us to be trying to leave this place. He keeps telling me to take his knives. Barry, are you too okay? I've got a helicopter outside the West Bay. So we're escaping from something. There's been some kind of war. But they changed the codes to get past the dome. So we gotta get through the dome then, I suppose? It's desperation. Very scary. Try to hack into the lab. Oh, I should have taken the hacking character. Anyway, we took the stealth character. Because stealth seems to be a little overpowered as far as we've seen it. Okay, so there's danger. Uh, but here we go. Uh, can I speak to you? Right mouse, throw. Left mouse, walk. Shift, pivot. So we can pivot. Look around. Uh, it's a hexagon-based system, but it's kind of like we're always in vats in Fallout. Uh, oh, hang on a second. What was that? It looked like a knife just kind of went flying from my hand. What is our weapon right now? So we've got throw equipped as our main thing. I'm going to go ahead and equip slash. And let's look in our bag. Because we now have uh, 29 throwing knives, so 29 would have been a really weird number to give, so I think we got 30 of these. Not the most amazing weapon, but again, we don't really know anything about the weapons, but we can pick up weapons off of our enemies. I'm going to go ahead and just sneak for pretty much the entire time, and I'm going to take us out of the turn-based system because then we'll be here all day. Uh, but I am going to be pretty elusive and pretty quiet. I'm going to try hard this a little bit, I think. Uh, actually, we don't need to... We don't need to be sneaking anymore now. Why are you still using your sneaking animation? Okay, now he's sneaking fast. For some reason, he's stuck in this animation, which I just think is fantastic. Kind of cyberpunk, a little bit Fallout. Oh, that is kind of funny. I, I am enjoying this fast sneaking animation, which actually seems like a bug in the game. Aha, I have found a bug, perhaps. Um, but again, this is a demo. It's There isn't any embargo, as far as I know. And I believe that they mentioned that there was a demo for players. I don't really know if that's still available. Uh, all I really know is the email that I got. I'm pretty, uh, pretty short on information here. Um, but yeah, again, still, like, being developed. Um, at least as far as I can tell. So we've got all of these options down here. We've got some enemies here in the distance. And we're going to confront them. What have we got? End drive seems to be the jump button. Because we just spent a few minutes jumping around a little while back. Um, so all we've got are the throwing knives, but I'm going to see if I can just use my ally to fight for me, because I want to avoid this wait one turn if we just... Okay, so they are just walking off. We'll sneak over here, and then let's try to use our end drive. Yes, to just subtly jump, or quietly jump over that. <laughs> and then we'll wait for them to come by again. And then we'll see if we can sneak up on these people. Now, I don't really know what their line of sight is, and I've been trying to figure this out. But let's see if we could just use a throwing knife here. We'll switch back out to our throwing knife. Knockout. We still haven't used this one yet. Quietly send a target into an unexpected nap. Uses impact dice. But clearly we've got all the makings of a CRPG going on here. For God's sake! Now, it does take a little while for your knife to get around to the enemy and he walked off while I was throwing that so I didn't really time the knife properly I also didn't time that one either 
But I assume that he's going to be walking around this thing to try to get to me. So now I'm going to throw the knife here. And that was also... Uh, that also took too long. It is quite unfortunate. We're going to try to keep some of our throwing knives. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on a second. We're going to do the next best thing that we can here and just run away. Uh, this is my ally, right? We'll just wait for him to... My God. Slash... Slash, and this game can be punishingly difficult, so we'll see if we survive. We've already lost about a third of our health. We won't care about that bone that just fell to the ground. Oh, for God's sake. Fragdar says, have I tried the Warhammer games, uh, Mechanicus? Warhammer makes some really good turn-based games because 40k is itself a turn-based game. Uh, it seems we can't uh, command this ally, but we're just going to allow him to do all of the fighting for us because I see absolutely no consequences of this. You do it. Ah, oh, for God's sake, why didn't you turn around and fight that man a minute ago? All right, well, the good news is that we do recover health automatically in the game, so we'll uh, allow that. We'll just look around some of these corpses and try to search them a bit. Pick up their bones. I don't really know what these do yet, but just various items would be nice to have. Collecting things. We'll wait around, though, and see how our health is actually recovering here. Let's try view records. Whoop. Uh, so again, we've got quietness, grace, perception. And I, I think that mostly just contributes to our sneaking. Now we will sneak because we've got enemies nearby. Use your terminal to jot down notes, add map markers, and read disks. Mm. Ah, so there is a demo, a demo. At least right now, as of this video, there's an, a demo available for players. Um... They told me that my copy would not, like, run out even after that. I don't know if yours will. Uh, sorry if it does. But uh, eventually it will come out, I assume, unless if it never comes out, which I find quite unlikely because there is quite a lot to this game. Uh, let's just continue with this strange... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so we're out of turn mode, or we're back into turn mode, whatever we are. Uh, there's been some kind of slaughter here. Never heard of troops or mutants taking down a, a Vikanaut. Let's just not stick around to see what it did. Okay, so we've got some really powerful enemy. I happen to know that there's a lot of enemies coming up because we were just kind of banging our head against a wall there. But we're going to try to sneak out of this compound because clearly there's more enemies than we're meant to fight in a tutorial level. We've got some kind of, like, ferret here. I'm going to see if I can successfully throw a knife because I really would just have to disown myself if I didn't there we go great ah two knives successfully landed now can we go retrieve these knives it seems not i god knows why somebody who was armed with throwing knives would just leave the knives that seems like an extremely expensive weapon set to maintain and uphold to just be throwing knives all of the time for god's sake why would you not pick them up do you know how expensive those things are how much is a throwing knife? How much? I don't know, because I always pick them up. I pick up mine after I'm done throwing knives for the day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like we've said, uh, you know, this feels a lot like, ooh, an opportunity to jump. Great. Feels a lot like, you know, a, a, a loving kind of homage to Fallout, but also something entirely new unto itself. I happen to know that this guy is also going to fight us. We've got the throwing equipped, so we'll do that. Let's see if we can sneak. Nah, it doesn't really make a difference with this guy. But yeah, it kind of feels like playing Deus Ex. You know, albeit with a little bit more story, which I don't think is bad. Uh, this guy, for some reason, wants to kill us. But also, you get to act out being like a bum and, you know, fighting people with a plastic bag. But I like that, kind of. Now, let's see if this guy has anything. He's got defense orders and a knife, as well as a slug magazine. Now, come on. If he had a slug magazine, wouldn't he have... It's been my one thing is that it doesn't seem like all of the weapons are lootable. And I don't know if that would make it really overpowered, but... Uh... Ah, this is how we open up a medical kit. Okay, so we have to slash these crates open. 
Ah, we get plasma charges. Okay, so we now have figured out how to loot. I was really struggling with that a few minutes ago. Did I also... Oh, I can pick up my throwing knives. I stand corrected. I just couldn't find them. Where are they? Man, I have to think about all of those expensive throwing knives I just left back there a few minutes ago. Unless if these are just other random assorted throwing knives I'm spontaneously finding over here for the first time. But yeah, I mean... Like I said, beautiful game. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's kind of like this magical concoction of voxels and pixels. And it's like 2D and yet 3D at once. I have no idea how this game's graphical system even renders or works, but it's fascinating and beautiful. And I st so, uh, I didn't really understand the interaction with this guy the first time we played. But he's some sort of medical robot who can reincarnate us whenever we die. Uh, he's kind of cheeky, but that's that's fine. He's just being facetious. Uh, uh, let's go ahead. We have this same neck beard on every single screen. Pro shift pivot. Okay, let's get out of this turn-based mode. We'll just continue sneaking. We'll kind of play it like non-turn-based ASX, but as you can see, my character is walking in the hexagonal grid every time that we walk. So... Here we go. Violence. Uh, what are we... Oh, did I accidentally just destroy some of the pickups? Alright, you get out of my way now. Oh, uh, hang on a second. Oh, there are my throwing knives, so I am not leaving the throwing knives behind. I stand corrected from before. Well, that is actually quite neat, if I can pick up all of my throwing knives. Now I am... Now I am thoroughly immersed. Hang on a moment. Let's go ahead and open our bag. Uh, a little bit, I kind of question the difference between these knives and the throwing knives. Like, couldn't... I suppose they're balanced in a different way. All right, what is this defense orders? So this was with the sergeant, or whatever that guy was, had. Durability, one out of 100, one-handed. Thin copper disc stamped with the Earth Collective flag. Will this help me get out? Ah, it's in the terminal. Where is the terminal? Uh, defense orders from the... Okay, here we go. Ray Brunel, Ray, to indicate gathering of forces from MF-1... I fleet over the... Attack expected on Western Front. Intelligence reports sightings of copper faces and... We really can't understand any of the backstory or fluff. Okay, we gotta get out of here. That's all I know. I just wanted to know where the source of tension was. We're trying to escape. But again, there's not really that much ambiance in this game. There's no background music whatsoever. Who are these people? Because these people were like zombies, but really not zombies. So if I anticipate this, you know, let's actually try to sneak it through here. Except I find this kind of useless when my ally doesn't sneak. Because he's like that friend that you bring with you. But your friend doesn't actually realize that you're going on a, like a date or something. And he just stays for the whole thing. Has this ever happened to you? That you have ever been on one of these dates where it's just... It's not really a double date. It's just kind of third wheeling. This is a little bit we've seen some of this behavior from the NPCs. I'm not going to question it because I usually don't question anything. I just accept things at face value. But that's because I have no critical thinking skills whatsoever. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, destroy that thing before it gets too loud. Laser charges. Who knows what it'll be useful for later. Maybe something. Oh, the zombies are coming. I think that these are zombies anyway. Okay, hang on a moment. Let's go in. Uh, Re-equip our throwing knife. Yeah, no, li no knives left behind. No knives left behind. Hang on a second. Beware of these knives. I might throw them with my hands. Uh, we've got throwing equipment. we got to make sure that we're in the right combat mode. Otherwise, we might end just... Oh, uh, for God's sake. We might just end up slashing in a, the wrong direction. Annoyingly. This guy fell asleep when he... Oh, God, who knew? This guy has narcolepsy. <laughs> Imagine if you just immediately fell asleep. These throwing knives are actually... The goat... Oh, look, it hit another guy. That is so... Ki that is kind of cool. Wait a second. That was accidental. I switched uh, weapon modes suddenly, unexpectedly. What are we even doing right now? 
What is the combat? Well, we have switched over to a punch unexpectedly in the little combat. So we're getting used to the we're getting used to the controls. Forgive me. I'm no. Please stop spamming those emotes of concern in the chat. I, <laughs> that is, I I I'm getting a little defensive about my abilities. I might have to go to some place like Kumon Learning Center to learn more about the game. Oh, Jesus. Hang on a second. Not sponsored. But they can sponsor me at Kumon if they want. A fantastic place to get learn more math. I don't know, that was kind of random. All right, uh, hang on a second. Are these the throwing knives? I got some serious distance. I mean, if I... If this game thing doesn't work out, I'm sure they would take me in the NFL as like a QB, right? I got a rocket arm, baby. Yeah. Okay, let's break open some more stuff. Nope, we can't break that. But what about these crates? Oh, what was that? Somebody just exploded over there. Did you see that explosion? Hang on a second. If we get out of... Uh, Any time that you enter combat, you enter into the turn-based system. I'm still, I'm still just amazed by everything in the game. Now that I've got a hang of the controls, this is actually quite a. Uh, this is becoming quite invigorating. I, I think one of the most immersive parts, though, is having to find all of my weapons after every single combat. Some would say annoying, but I like it because it feels more like a. You know what I'm about to say? It's a simulation. It's not a. Of course, you can reach this. There we go. A simulation and not a game. No games are games. They're all just simulations. I think you can also time enemies coming to you with melee. Let's just try... S ah, damn it. It didn't work that time. But it seems as though there's a vast and intricate cataclysm dark days ahead sort of like uh, action point system going under on underneath. Maybe not as intricate as cataclysms, but what other games can claim that amount of intricacy. Mm. Throw knife? Kneef. 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 My god, look at the distance on those things. Uh, is there any way to figure out the range on these things? Like, how far can I reliably... Hey, Chance turns... Throw at a target or location, uses throw... So I suppose that anything that I can... It kind of feels like combining a real-time game with a turn-based game. I don't know how else to describe this, guys. Like, look, sometimes it stops me knife mid-air flying away. That was why it threw me off to use these knives. It kind of feels like tasting a new food, though, to play this game, you know? Like I'm eating a pomegranate for the first time or something. Okay, finding the knives, finding the knives. Ah, oh, look, the knives even have, like, a tiny bit of physics. Like, whenever somebody uh, moves next to the knife, the knife moves slightly. That is kind of neat. Okay, I am really liking this. Yes, ten knives out of ten. Ten knives out of ten. All right. OG Fallout, it's, but it's kind of like a modernized Fallout, you know, where you aren't waiting around. And it does feel like that there's action constantly. Uh, one thing I'd like is if I could slow down the game a bit more, but I suppose that makes it a bit more accessible for a larger audience. You know, CDDA doesn't attract everybody. Okay, for some reason, these guys all want to be freed. Uh... Canaries in a... Co so these people are captured, they were altered physically, horribly mutated and mutilated as well. And then their eyeballs were replaced with meatballs, glowing meatballs, horrible. We're going to free these people because they make some of the worst NPC companions known to man. We've seen this. Do we have a key? We don't have a key, but we can lockpick it. Smashing. Oh, what is smashing? Hey, Kalash. Yeah, thank you very much for the rate. Hope your stream went well, my friend. So we've gotten... Uh, how many Wookiee life debts is this? One, two, three, four, five. We've got six people. What were you playing? Nice cozy, cozy, nice cozy raid. Hey, thank you very much. Did the stream go well? Look at this. They're all going to politely and in kind of a janky way use the door. These, it's like Planet of the Apes. 
ape, not human city, ape city. Uh, but also, why did I take all of these people onto my, uh, onto my party? Because they're going to be very not stealthy. Let's see if we can convince these other ladies to join us. Come on over, ladies. Uh, stay away from me. God, she got the bug eye. Don't plug that thing back into me. I'm not going back underground. Let me try to charm her. Ah, social role succeeded. Now she is one of us. One of us. One of us. Charm. Let me try. God only knows what I can do to charm these women. I must just have the most extraordinary <laughs> all the people sneaking. Oh, Jesus. Here they all come. Come on, gang. Oh, Jesus. There's no background music, which makes it just a little bit awkward. Okay, so the game closes when we enter, or uh, not closes, pauses when we enter a combat encounter. Let's have other people do all of the distracting for us. So we're going to send out our uh, crazy people over here. Left mouse, wait or aim in direction for one turn. So let's go ahead and wait. I will move over here and I will allow the sack head spike men to fight them. Which everyone, like I said, everyone is a little bit janky in combat. I don't know why they don't really fight them. But I'm going to go send out these men to just be a distraction for me as I try to escape from this facility. For God's sake, please, that man is coming after me for my life. Help. Someone do something. Great. Okay, beat the shit out of him. Oh, that looked horrible. Ch or maybe charm him. Oh, God, he's coming after me in particular, too. Yeah, there they go, just beating the crap out of everyone. But the thing is that... Uh, the be fooled not. I've actually gotten slightly better at the game. It's just... It's so punishingly difficult. Look at how much health I'm down to already. Only 13 health. I'm just going to wait over here in the corner. For God's sake, that man... Someone do something about him, or I'm going to throw a knife at him. If no one's going to do anything, I just missed two knives. Am I gaining three? Any experience for this? <laughs> I threw like five knives. I practically look like I was in the circus. All right, we're going to take a minute to recover some health. We don't really care about those knives because I happen to know that there's a lot of enemies over here. Actually, you know, I'll get my knives. Stop being lazy and pick up your knives. Where are my knives? Like I said, I have the arm of an NFL QB. God only knows why I chose this profession. Did we... Why are we all just kind of creepily moving in a huddle over there? Hang on a second. Ha wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. We've been together now for three months, babe. I think I am finally ready to kiss. <laughs> hey, moist frog. Uh, moist. That is actually quite a nice thing to say. Moist frog on a log. Hey, thank you. That is a very majestic, amphibious name. I, I do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the sub as well. I appreciate that. Mm. I don't think I'm ready to kiss after three months, though. I think I'm going to remain... Oh, uh, God. So you don't... Uh, hang on a second. Why don't you hate my friends? Let me send out the... Sackhead people. Go, my sackhead people. They are disliked by all. Attack. Why do you come back to me? Now, this is where I don't understand the combat system, because for some reason the sackhead people just don't fight when I tell them to. But alas... You know, life goes on in the words of Tupac. So we're going to go ahead and just creep through the bushes again. It's fine. Uh, but, of course, not after picking up our knives and grabbing the other plasma weapons. Let's just go back over to that guy's body. I don't want to miss out on an opportunity to get a good ranged weapon if we can. Uh, yep, be sneaky. Can I just send my people out? Let's go see how the line of sight works. If I hang out in this bush and I just tell them to go ahead. Yep. Go out, guys. Nothing to see over there. 
Yeah, maybe they aren't disliked by that guy. Oh, they just apparated. Okay. All right, again, don't really know how the NPCs are doing, but I'm just going to kind of lone wolf it here again. Ah, so good to be alone again, wandering through the bushes. God only knows why. So are we going to... I suppose we're going to find some kind of objective if we get further along here. Do we have a mini... Which just strikes me. We don't have a mini-map as far as I can tell, or I have not seen one. We don't have anything that indicates a mini-map over here. Nothing to see there. Oh, wait a second. Studies dice. Now, we don't really have any central inventory. So, again, maybe a few UI things that who knows if they'll change them or add something in. I'm kind of curious if this physics system will be fleshed out a bit more. Yeah, they seem to fight only things that attack me directly. So that's a little point of concern. Like, can't I just tell them to use their lives for me? Yeah, I'll tell them to come. Everybody come back. I don't know where you went. Feeling kind of lonely over here by the barrel. Okay, that was kind of... God, they just came out like the Anbu Black Ops. Uh, we could also switch targeted body part. Let's do some hopping, though. I'm feeling some hopping. There we are. Okay, good. Making the noises. Great, okay. I'm doing such a good job at avoiding these bullets by hopping randomly. Mm. Okay, let's tell the sack men to go over there. Now, I didn't really see myself as much of a commander, but I feel like as long as I can use the... Ah, so lithely do I hop. Look at... <laughs> but this is the joy and wonderment of simultaneous turn... Am I just breaking the game by doing this? Uh, apparently not. I did just get shot with a laser. Damn it, I'm gonna have to go back to running again. Okay, let's see if I can dodge some bullets. Otherwise, I will be a little bit screwed in this combat. I wanted to see if I could get away from them. Yeah, it's a little unclear why they just kind of give up. Again, I guess that the AI needs a little bit of... And are we, are we safe now? Is this the spot? Ah, uh, yes! Ledge, we made it out to the next area. Fantastic. Hang on a second. I don't think you need to sneak anymore. Now, there is a checkpoint system, so if we... Okay, I'm just looking a little creepy doing that. There is a checkpoint system, so if we do die, we should just be reincarnated. So, that's fine. Hmm. Is there an XP or level system? Don't really know that much about the game yet. Uh, Fall Court said, did I see Kevin? Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, Kevin and, uh, who is it? Uh, uh, Sips saw some of my videos and liked them. That was very nice. Actually, Sips I had watched when I was, uh, a young kid, so that, uh, really, like, brought me back a ways. It's kind of like getting told you play, uh, good basketball by Michael Jordan, so that meant a lot. But yeah, no, it's, uh, and Kevin's a solid guy, too. I like Kevin. He's the very stand-up guy. Um, uh, Damn it, we gotta get this. But yeah, just uh, nice to be in, in good company here on the internet. I oh, love it here on the internet. Laser rifle, hang on a second. We have a laser rifle again. Now, I don't want to prevent you from seeing the laser rifle, but the laser rifle, I'm going to warn you right now, is kind of garbage. We're being attacked by hundreds of zombies, but I also have hundreds of zombies protecting me. So I will use the laser rifle. As you can see, the laser rifle is total garbage yes that's right so we're gonna go ahead and put it away but there it is you saw it don't tell me that i don't give you nice things the throwing knives apparently are where it's at because these things are like more they're more like throwing machetes or throwing swords i never leave home without one okay the guy right next to me is about to wake up again or die one or the other i'm not quite sure what happened to him He's going to pick up all of this other stuff over here. What is this? Who are you even? Just keep on throwing knives. Ah, oh, it's the answer to all of life's problems. believe I got that. Okay, we're, I hope, getting better in combat. Unless if there isn't a leveling system, which I honestly can't answer. I cannot answer that question. I feel a little bad that I can't answer that. But I've not seen any evidence of a uh, leveling system yet. We do have statistics, though, so I don't see why they would give us statistics without a leveling system. Okay, I just punched a man to death. How does that feel? Quite honestly, pretty good. Uh, hang on a moment. It seems as though when we run out of... 
items. We don't have any more items, which is just a little bit depressing. Let's equip this throwing knife, because everyone knows that a throwing knife at range this clothes uh, actually is, is, is probably a bad idea. Let's go switch out to our other knife, because supposedly you can interrupt other people's turns. Hmm. Use a regular knife. Maybe we're using up fewer AP for that. Is it actually... I'm trying to get a deeper understanding of the AP system, though. Apparently if my people won't fight... Like, see, that guy got interrupted. He was mid-swing, and then the other guy ran. So there is something deeper going on. It doesn't really look like that there's a deeper system by the graphics alone, but if you look closely... All right, enough of that. Let's see if we can get to the next objective. All right, here we go. Uh, I assume that just farther out... Ah, here it is. The, what appears to be a helicopter from P PlayStation 1. To be honest with you, I kind of like the... A modern wolf. So that's the death, modern wolf. Kind of brings me back to Half-Life. Or Fighting Force. You ever play Fighting Force for the PS1? Created by Whale Knot. Oh, so wait a minute. Whale Knot is the... God, I really know an embarrassing amount about the... Uh, about the dev. Okay, so that's the demo.